your land, know your prey. feet. Alberta is Man Tracker's turf. Normally, he rescues the missing. But today, he won't be tracking the innocent. He's out here to go hunting. Hunting for two North Bay boys who think they'll stick it right to him. Dustin and Ian go way back. Being teammates is nothing new. Since they were kids, they've won championships on the gridiron and connected passes on the ultimate field. They're fit, fierce, and wildly competitive. Boom. And right now, they have one thing on their minds, leaving Man Tracker in their dust. But this won't be a cakewalk. Man Tracker has teamed up with Curtis Halleck of the Rocky Mountain Cree. The 31-year-old knows his way around these parts. It's his backyard. Curtis's horse was a wild one, but he caught him, broke him, and now the two are inseparable. I call my horse Tibishka. It means knight in Cree. And like his horse, Curtis has a maverick past. As an outlaw, he lived off the land in the mountains for five years. Now, square with the law, Curtis is on Man Tracker's side. Good thing, because if you don't know what you're doing, this wilderness can kill without warning. Did you lose your cold? Not too long ago, eh? Not too long ago. The cougar probably leapt on the colt's neck, crushed its neck, and then had to deal with the mother. We've lost a few that way. It looked like she put up a good fight. In this wild, isolated area, you better watch your back. I would describe myself as interesting. I mean, uh, I'm probably a hard person to kind of label. Uh, yeah, my friends would probably do describe me as fun and crazy. I hate losing just because it's a terrible feeling. I want to win this chase real bad. I want to. I want to stomp Man Tracker. I am here to succeed. I am here to brag that I beat Man Tracker. We want to beat Man Tracker because that, that's the challenge. That's that's the goal. That's what we came here for. We're gonna we're gonna work for it. And it's a, it's good competition. He knows what he's doing. He's uh, he's good at his craft. And we'll have to be sure. I can't see us not finishing together. I think our bond and our the trust we have is our strength. So we're not gonna break that apart. So you figure, Hoss, let's make a whole bunch of uh, tracks here. Make it real confusing at the start. The prey aren't wasting any time. The chase hasn't even begun, but the strategies are already in play. Fight for the finish is on. Dustin and Ian have 36 hours to get to a bridge 52 kilometers away. Their strategy, head in the wrong direction to throw Man Tracker off his game from the get-go. Having spotted the flare, Man Tracker is on the move. With no idea where the finish line is, he'll have to rely on hard evidence. Because he'll be looking for tracks from this. All we want to do is send him the other way. We went uh, the opposite direction. We doubled back through the bush. When we got out of the bush, back to the trail, we uh, slipped socks onto our feet, tried to leave as few tracks as possible. Dustin and Ian have watched a lot of man trackers. They know that if they're going to win, they better play it smart. But no one should underestimate man tracker. He's already found the flare site. The rock's been moved. All that dirt on top came out of that hole right there. Very good tracks going downhill here. Almost too good. They're making this way too easy. They're very, very plain. They're right in the open. I got a bad feeling about this. 
up here that could be setting us up. Yeah. It didn't sit right with me. They, normally, they right off the bat, they try to stick to hard ground, leave no tracks. These guys were stepping in mud. The red flags went off, and I kind of thought this is not right. So we actually went the opposite direction. Well, this is a logical place for them to skirt around and come out. It looks like we got tramped down grass and stuff there. It's really tramped down right there at the base of that rock. We'll go up the trail a little ways and see if we can find some tracks. Sweat's starting to pour. Legs are starting to burn. It's beautiful. This winding trail carves its way up Mount Hamill at a steady incline. A thousand unforgiving feet of crumbling rock at high altitude dead ahead. I don't see nothing. The prey's defensive tactics are working. Man trackers looking for something, anything. Well, there's a few little smudges here, but nothing that I'd call real good tracks. Well, we'll keep going up then. There's only one reason we're gonna beat them. The melon. Big brains. All right, Ian, let's throw a diversion down. Okay. Something that's going to take us five seconds, it's going to take him five minutes to realize. So if we can make him hook back or, you know, a pile of sand with nothing in it in the middle of the trail and he has to get off his horse and go, is this a landmine or a pile of sand? You know, is this a trip? Why, what, why is there a pile of sand in the middle of the trail? So he's going to get off and he's going to look at it and he, he's going to kick it and realize it's just sand and that's going to get it in, into his head. These guys are playing games with me. Which just him getting off his horse kills a minute right there. The more we get into his head, the more bad, the more mistakes he's gonna make, and we're gone. And we're gone. And we're gone. And he's just gonna stop and go, what the heck is this? Even with socks covering their shoes, the prey can't shake their hunter. The sun's low angle is exposing some flat, shiny imprints. We can see their tracks here going down the road. They're, they're kind of shiny spots, flat, where they've flattened out the dirt. It's a little bit loose. Yeah, so you get up here and you can hardly see them. That's right. We got something in the road up here. It's like a little distraction. Interesting. The prey have had some fun. The prey are nearing the end of the tree line. Bad news, they'll be forced out in the open. Good news, the rocky slope ahead looks treacherous for horses. Welcome to our first prey cam shot. What's the strategy, bro? It's gonna pull a log in front. Probably just slow him up. Yeah, buddy, work it. Work that, brother. Watch your body. Man! We, I guess if there was mind games being played with man track, we wanted to let him know that, you know, we're not just gonna sprint away from you. We're not, you know, we're not that scared. Oh, he's gonna be nice and pissed. These guys are throwing everything they can at man tracker. Yeah. Right in the foothills of the mountain. When we switch him back right to the top, I think, of Mount Hamill. We're gonna try to send him left, send him the wrong way, dash across to our right to the trail. But in addition to that, we found some danger tape down the road. We're gonna bring it across where we're going. He might buy it, he might not, but it won't take long, so we're gonna do it. Beautiful. If you go down deep enough, we might find some oil. Up there, we're gonna cross the tree line and we're still going. Off the top of your head, what do you think you'd bring? Goggles. Goggles? The sticks are dangerous, right? So if you have some sort of a visor on or some sort of a ski goggle on, you can just continue to run full speed. Early industrious little beavers. They want me to get off my horse and move it, I will. Well, that might have gained them 30 seconds. Right, so let's keep our eyes peeled. We're going to be exposed for the next 45. There's nothing up there. Man Tracker bites on the false tracks, but that doesn't matter now. He spots his prey. You see those guys up there? Yep. They could be sucking a bit of wind here. Coming from almost sea level, going up over 7,000 feet. Air gets pretty thin if you're not used to it. You see him? Come on, Ian. Let's go, horse. Come on. 
Holy crap. Well, this country's tough. Goddamn rocks are tougher. All right, let's rock this. Um, yeah, we, we definitely had to pick up our pace at that moment, and, and we just made the choice, hey, there's no point in following the trail. That's what he's got to do. Let's just get to the top and just keep running directly up the mountain. Guy could cripple a horse in this stuff. Man Tracker is forced to take it slow. Every step carries potential disaster for the horses. Horse steps on one of these, you get a hell of a stone bruise and nothing flat. Feeling safe and feeling cocky with a decent jump on their tracker, the prey send a message. I've been waiting for this one. Just to let him know, you know, you know, you don't scare us. We'll throw a frisbee down there. We're not trying to hide. Like here we are. See the frisbee? Oh yeah. Good shot, Hoss. Look at that thing fly. They're wondering what that was. <laughs> Yes, man! <laughs> See those guys up there? See them? Come on in. Let's go, horse. <laughs> yes, man! Spirits high, the prey reached the top of the mountain well ahead of Man Tracker. The crumbling mountain debris has proven to be a treacherous barrier for the horses. We weren't here to uh, reach the top of Mount Hamlet. That wasn't the goal, so it was a quick satisfaction. You know, put it back in the bag and let's get to what we're here for. Let's get to the bridge. This is gonna be killer for a horse. Look at all those loose rocks. Well, we thought the rocks down below were tough. Sharp, jagged shit. Oh, we just got a stone that's jammed in here. Get a little bit of a stone bruise from this shit. Can be pretty tough on a horse. Little rocks like that, they get jammed in there and the horse takes three or four steps, they'll get a, a stone bruise in there, bruise the bottom of their foot. It's kind of like uh, walking in bare feet for us and stepping on a sharp rock. Come on, buddy. Watch where you're going. Oh, my God. Smart feet. Smart feet. Use your hands, too. We want to make them think we're going right. We're going left at the bottom of this coal yeah. or hill or mountain. I mean, Ian is just a phenomenal leader. I'm so fortunate to have him with me. Very good at making decisions. I, like in high school, uh, I, I had a major mullet, something like a Kelly Gruber or, uh, you know, just a huge, huge mullet. And we were sitting out one day, and Ian said, hey, I think it's time. Let's go to the barbers. and, and Thankfully, I don't have a mullet anymore. Even with a comfortable lead, the prey feel vulnerable in the open. They make a steady push for cover, but it's too late. Well, that's them right there. Get down, get down, get down. We gotta go, we gotta go. When we saw him, it made us pick up our pace. I mean, it was wide open, you could see us. Uh, there was absolutely nowhere to hide, so it was basically just scramble on, push forward, and let's get to some cover, let's get out of here. But when you see him, it's like, wow, like those are the guys that are trying to get us. That's when you know it was on for real. Man Tracker's patience is paying off. He may be behind the prey, but the horses are strong and gaining ground. This is right where we saw them walking. Dustin and Ian have already dug deep into their rations. They're trying to stay fueled using energy supplements. Eating this stuff the whole way. God, look at it. Oh, this is where we are right here, Dustin. Hang on. Dustin. Get it down. Let's find some water. Look for blue, baby. Look for blue. It's H2O. By 
I don't think we're drinking this. You must be dehydrated. Look at all that salt in your cap. Next time we see water, it'll be nice. I haven't peed once since we since we left. Not what we're looking for, eh? That might be a cowboy hat. The shiny thing right through. Nope, light on a tree. Actually, that might be water. Not too many shortcuts in this country, is there? Nope. Another piece of flagging tape. Last time we tied the flagging tape and we went down it. This time, let's tie the flagging tape and not go down it, because he's going to have to think. And the chances are, he's going to go down the road figuring we're playing the same okay. game. Let's get it lower. It doesn't look natural. Yeah, no problem. The last time they put this garbage in front of us, they didn't want us to go that way. No. Nope. And that's the way they went. This is obviously going to be the wrong way then. Lots of good tracks here. There's one. Up there's another one. Let's go, bud. Sharp, Curtis. He could be hiding. The prey have been chased into a small patch of bush lodged between two trails and a main road. Man Tracker is trying to sniff them out, but this forest is thick. Racing. You're breathing as hard as you can imagine. Thoughts are racing. You feel like prey. I was as scared as I've ever been in my life. Just full speed, full track, right through the bush, came to a pine tree, literally dove down, and hearts pounding, deep breaths, and just trying to listen. And all you could hear was boom, 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 boom. And your head's doing the same thing as your heart. Boom, 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 boom. And you couldn't hear a single thing in that bush. Much we can do right now. We know they're right here close. There's just nothing we can do about it. We could look all night in that bush and never find them. It's a good thing we look back down that trail. My adrenaline's pumping right now. We should maybe be sitting right out there. They're not going to be looking for us in front of them. All the places those prey had to go. Situation, serious. Down to their last drop. Man Tracker heads down the main road. He's planning an ambush. The prey will have to cross the road to stay on course. And when they do, Man Tracker hopes to be there waiting. If they stayed on the trail, they're going to come out right here. It's not the ideal place to, uh, to catch them, but we might just scare that crap out of them. We got a lot of options on which way to run out there, but 
I want to let them know we're right beside them. This is how I like to hunt moose. I chase them, I get them running, I circle around, and they usually come running to me. I can hear them. So can my horse. Did you miss me? back around. Tracker heads back to the road to secure the perimeter. The prey are trapped. They need a plan or a lucky break. Hey, when this truck passes, let's run right after him. Let's let him mask our sound. You ready? The prey made it across the road unnoticed. Their plan now? Make ground and lots of it. Meanwhile, Man Tracker still thinks his prey are trapped. If we go in there tramping around now, we're just going to scare them and they can come out around behind us. We know they're in there right now. So our best bet is to maybe just leave them right there. We'll let the mosquitoes and the grizzlies look after these guys tonight. Never know what, uh, what might come in the morning. A little hypothermia might slow them down a whole bunch. Kindling. No, you know what? I'm pretty good. Let's get this on film just in case the tree breaks or the <laughs> rope breaks. I've never been in this before. Looks pretty good, Dustin. Look at oh. <laughs> I think this is peaceful. Is that gonna work for you? Oh man, is it ever gonna until I roll right or left. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are doing better than I thought they would. Every time we jump them, they disappear into the bush like a snake. They don't make much sound. They're traveling pretty good for what I thought was a pair of gunsels. Did you miss me? Adrenaline's pumping right now. The prey are still at large, having spent a cold night undercover. They're halfway to victory, but fatigue and dehydration has pushed them to the brink. One mean day lies ahead. Morning. Your heart's racing for the moment you get up. You're, you're being hunted. And we want to get in the headspace of, of feeling like prey, like really uh, getting in touch with the land, blending in. He's 
going to be on his game today. He's going to want to close. Could be in here with us right now. Man Tracker is also on the move. He and Curtis split up to double their chances of finding a sign left behind by their prey. Trying to find a bit of a track or something that shows me where they've gone. Curtis is checking out another trail. It's a good track back there. There? Good. Let's go that way. We've got tracks right here. We've got at least two sets. Yeah, a different tread pattern than yesterday. So maybe they changed their footwear. Where's this trail gonna take us, Curtis? Well, this trail goes on the south side of the creek. So they could cross the creek and get over there? Yeah, and there's a bridge a couple kilometers up. Well, let's hightail it to the river. See if we can catch them there. All right, sounds good. With no water since yesterday, the prey need to find an elusive river. Mentally, dehydration has clouded their judgment. Physically, it's about to take its first victim. Oh, 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 my God, I'm cramping on the back of my leg. Oh, my God. We got time. Shh. Come on, come on, come on. Touch your toes, touch your toes. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go. The prey finally reached the river and refill on water, but cramping and fatigue from dehydration will cost them. Let's see if we can get a, across this chunk of muskeg up here. But this ain't good right there. We'll never get through this stuff. You never know how deep it's gonna be. You don't know what's in it. The horse could get in there and just sink to its belly and then you gotta pull them out. Quite often they'll rip a shoe off. You can get into quite a jackpot with shit like that. Yeah, we gotta go back, Curtis. I'm just checking out, we can, we can get through this real thick stuff. Probably only have to lead him for 25, 30 yards. Take a cruise down the riverbank and see a little boneheads are down there. Man Tracker is coming up behind the prey. Unaware of each other's whereabouts, one little bend in the river is the only thing separating hunter and hunted. We knew we had to move. We got to the riverbed. It wasn't what, what we wanted at the time. It was too exposed, so we, we felt very vulnerable there. We were scared. Oh, we've got tracks here. This little bit of sand is very, very fresh. This one here, he's, uh, it's a little bit of dry stuff, and he scooped it back. It hasn't got a crust on it or nothing. That's amazing. We've been busting through the bush and the shit and the muskeg for probably an hour now. And we're actually on an island. And we're right on top of them again. They were 
we're going through some horrible stuff. They're young and they're fit, and they're probably, you know, they don't know the word give up. So I kind of figured they were just going to keep going until they dropped dead, or I caught them. So, you know, the race was on. We've got two sets of footprints. There's one there, there's one there. Handprints. The only way you'd get these marks is if they were crawling. Let's see where they've gone from here. You can see here where they've climbed up over there. There's a good footprint just in front of that kind of flat rock. Claw marks where they've got up onto a, the moss. I guess we have to figure out how the hell to get up there. It's not going to be easy. There's a road up there. Probably headed down it. And we're right on top of them again. The prey have fought their way up the riverbank and are pushing to make good time on the road. The trackers are stranded, struggling with the treacherous terrain that is putting the horses in danger. I wanted to try and follow some of their side routes, and there was one trail that we could have used. And I took my horse in there. He usually takes me through tough areas, and this was just one of those tough areas that I shouldn't have tried. Come on. Walking my head a few steps, make sure everything's working. I checked my horse out. He seemed to be all right. Um, we we're gonna take it pretty careful after that. There, that was a hairy situation. Um, so we we had to we had to do a lot of detouring. These guys were we're using the bush to their advantage. We're gonna go back across the river and try to get up in these next pine trees. Let's ditch. Let's ditch. Even though the prey are still far from the finish, they want to move, and they want to move fast. Their best bet, ditch the weight and travel light. But this is a gamble. They've got 18 kilometers of brutal bush to get through. Let's go. Oh, yeah, it's dandy, isn't it? Holy shit. Boy, this stuff sucks. Not made for horses. Feeling nervous on the open trail, the prey decide to head into the dense bush below. It will be slow going, but easier on the nerves. You got a track right there. And it's going backwards. Starting to get mad at these guys. Yeah, it's not bone. I bet you got it. Look at that knuckle. That could be its brains. Look at all the little cells in there. Brains or lungs or... Smell it. It's not nice. We haven't been following any tracks here. The tracks bugger off back there a ways. But this is way too steep to take a horse down. We've already had one wreck today. We don't need another one. We're just going to keep going, and hopefully this trail hits the river. See if we're ahead of them, behind them, beside them. It's got to be one of the three. Our main meal. <laughs> Dustin. <coughs> Dustin. What are you going to do about your pretty pink backpack? Um, I'm going to. Um... <coughs> 
I'm going to uh, take this shirt off, this green shirt right here. Looks like you're going to a rave in Tokyo. <laughs> and I'm going to put this backpack under the shirt. So I think it's going to get intense in the next couple hours. Hey, we can take a look down here. We might get a good view of the river. Let's try that. We just come in off this trail here. We got a reasonable, decent spot to look at a bunch of the river here. They could be on the moon for all I know right now. Playing it safe has run its course. Dustin and Ian want to pick up the pace. They head for flat ground, but make an escape plan. We are in sort of an unsafe zone on the road at this point in the day. But we've got a steep embankment there, and we've got a huge embankment all the way down to the river. So ultimately, pick up some case, and then when we see him, we know he's here. We go down, we cross the river, he's on this side, we take him to the finals. The prey are now on a collision course with Man Tracker. You go back to the horses and just watch and make sure they don't come down the trail. Because if they steal our horses, we're screwed. something back there, like something scurried. Come on, buddy, yeah, yeah. There's there on the bottom. <laughs> this is our lucky day. A lucky break. The prey are heading into a forest of poplars. Tall, well-spaced trees making for great visibility. But even with the odds on his side, Man Tracker wants to set up an ambush. Came right down the damn trail behind us. If we were a little better hidden, you know, they would have walked right on top of us. Just as we're coming up the ridge on the other side of the river, uh, cramp, real, real bad. As bad as I've ever had in my life. Both hamstrings go, straighten them out, both quads go, drop them on the ground. My hamstrings and quads are both cramped. My quad won't, it won't relax. If Man Tracker would have come up, he just would have hit me. I would not even be able to get on my feet. Mentally, the lowest moment of the day. We want to try to get these guys right here. And because Curtis's horse is a lot faster than mine, I'm going to send him up the hill. If, the, uh, if they're uh, able to and they break and run, I'm going to be on the right-hand side of the road down low. I'm going to uh, hopefully be up close enough that uh, we catch them in between us. right there. My heart's racing. Fed up with losing the prey to the deep bush, Man Tracker is playing it safe and waiting for the perfect opportunity to capture his prey. Dustin and Ian have no idea he's breathing right down their necks. Let him go. 
they were just always in the wrong spot for us to jump out and catch them. They, they had too many options of escape. We wanted to pick our time to catch these guys because they, they're young. They got lots of piss and vinegar left. So we wanted to make sure we had some room to, to work. We didn't want to just scare them into the real deep stuff and never see them again. They'll stay out in the open and kind of parallel along these guys. Let's see if we get a better chance. Sometimes I'm way too goddamn patient. I should we should have jumped. The prey make a narrow escape. And they don't even know it. After his plan backfired, Man Tracker is jockeying for position, gunning for a capture. The final drive, the home stretch. And with five kilometers left to go, the battle for the bridge is on. We're at the river. We just gotta make time. We gotta be fast enough. We gotta be making time. So we're gonna hit the river and run. We just parallel the river and come out through the bush. They should be in front of us. There they are. They're way up the river. At that late in the day, they were traveling way faster than I expected them to be. I think their momentum was actually carrying them more than their body. They were going and their body was just coming with them. <laughs> I think I see the bridge. Still cramped? Sit up. Sit up with your legs in a V. Sit like that. We lost them. We had got too steep for the horses. They're down on the river. They got to come up, so we're going to go down and meet them. I don't know what these guys will do to get away. They're, they're going through hell right now. Did you miss me? You put in a good day today. Must be frustrating not seeing us. I saw you a lot. Just couldn't catch us. Well, we're gonna roll on. I'm sure you're gonna do the same. We'll see if we can catch you uh, feature across that bridge. Thanks for telling me where the finish line is. Come on, Curtis. We're gonna make a capture. We thought we had a chance to win coming out here. Uh, it was harder than we thought. It was longer than we thought. We were more tired, more thirsty. Muscles hurt more. It was, it was like a battle from early day one. We all ride the bowlers to the end. Ah, there's the bridge, buddy. I'm, I'm just trying to see if they were just wasting time to maybe come up, hoping that I'd run to the bridge. Well, we'll put one guy on each side and <laughs> see what they do. Going up to the road now means certain capture. One thing about it, they've got balls. They're not going to have any when they're done swimming this creek. The prey's only option, brave the rapids and ride right under the finish line. that then I thought if we had won you know it's gonna feel great but given the difficulty given what we had done in the 36 hours previous it made it way way better than I thought I mean the, like adrenaline the exhilaration it's it was um, nothing I experienced before it was the, it was that good congratulations gentlemen thank you sir. thank you Hunting humans, it's a little bit different. They can turn turn things around where they can actually hurt you instead of just running scared. Still yet, I like to catch my prey. 
<laughs> it, it's a tough country, and they, uh, they coped very well. At the moment, I definitely feel like I'm about six foot tall and bulletproof, but <laughs> that'll change tomorrow. I'll be like five foot four, 140 pounds, and you know, ugly and all that stuff again. So today I'll just ride this good feeling. <laughs> well, since we've been in uh, freezing cold water all day, why don't we stand in the shade and keep chatting? <laughs>